Hey there! Happy Sunday one and all. Thanks for watching the video. Today I want to focus on the topic of coming to know Jesus Christ and why that's important and what it can do for us. So I'm going to start off in the Bible in the New Testament. So if you look at the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6, we learn about one of the names of Jesus Christ. Of course, we know from reading all the Holy Scripture that Christ has many names, and here's one of those. It says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And of course, we know that Jesus Christ is the only way in which we can present ourselves back into the presence of our Heavenly Father. We can't do it on our own. No man, no woman can do that. It is only through Christ that is done. And he says right here that he is the way. He is also the truth. One of the names for the Savior is truth, the truth. He is all truth. He cannot tell a lie. That's where Satan comes in. That's what he does. He always lies. Christ always speaks truth every single time. So if we're going to go over... To another chapter in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32, it says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Again, here's an important part of why we need to know Christ. Because if we were to substitute the word truth, which we know is one of the names for Christ, with Christ's name, we can say, And you shall know Christ, and Christ shall make you free. So he frees us. He frees us from the burdens of sin, of heartache, of pain. It's not to say that he's going to abstain from all those things happening in our lives. We'll still go through hard times and challenges, challenges, but he strengthens us to be able to get through them. And he frees us from those burdens that otherwise would crush us and destroy us spiritually. So it's important to come to know him because knowing him allows us to be made free. Another scripture in the book of John says, This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So another qualification for coming to know Christ is to obtain eternal life. Now, in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we believe there's two aspects that comes after this mortal life to living forever. We believe in immortality and eternal life. We believe that through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, all men will be resurrected and all women will be resurrected and they'll live forever. And that's called immortality. But to have eternal life is different. So let's look at Doctrine and Covenants section 20, verse 17. It says, by these things we know that there is a God in heaven, who is infinite and eternal, from everlasting to everlasting, the same unchangeable God, the framer of heaven and earth, and all things which are in them. Again, here we know another attribute or name for our Heavenly Father, for God, is eternal. He is eternal. Therefore, if you were to substitute eternal life with God, you get eternal life is God's life. So Christ, by coming to know him, not only are we free in this life, but we're free forever in the presence of our Heavenly Father. And we can obtain the same kind of life that he has and enjoy all the blessings that he has for us in the life to come. As Christ said, in my Father's house, there are many mansions. He's like, I go to prepare one for you. And we can live in the presence of our Heavenly Father. So by coming to know him, we become free. We also obtain eternal life, which is God's greatest gift that he can give to us. But how do we come to know him? You get to know somebody by being around them, by hanging with them. If you're going to be able to get to know family members or friends, you want to spend time doing the activities that they do. That way you can come to know them for who they are. If Christ was here on the earth, he'll do the same thing that he would have done when he came over 2,000 years ago. He would go around serving people, helping, loving, praying, keeping the commandments, keeping covenants. And I have that list right here on the screen. We make and keep covenants with God to serve others, to love. We pray continually unto our Heavenly Father daily throughout the day, and we strive to, our best to keep the commandments, and we repent when we fall short. By doing these things, we come to know Jesus Christ, and we can know him on a personal level. He's not some far-flung figure out in space or out in the eternities that is just too much for us to be able to comprehend and know. Of course, his ways are above ours and that we can't understand everything about him. But just like a distant relative that we living, have living on the other side of the world, we can come to know them through communication for our striving to becoming like him. And I know that's true. I know the more that I have sought to become like him and come to know him, it has enriched my life and made it that much more better and happier. And it's the only way to true and everlasting happiness in this life and in the life to come. I invite you all to do one thing this week that'll help you to come to know the Savior more. And I promise as you do so, you'll have a greater enriching 
understanding of who he is and a greater love for him and for all men. Have a great Sunday. Adios.